I'm Paula Nutting, your musculoskeletal specialist. Today's video is about improving our flexibility and strength for the upper torso. Today I've got Roz giving me a hand with our strength and our flexibility. Previously, we've woken up her neurolymphatic points with our tapping of our thoracic cage. Today, we're applying our strength and our flexibility to make everything lock in to be a stronger, more stability-based unit. So, are you ready, Roz? I sure am. Excellent. Let's go. So, we need Roz to do some rotation for me. Firstly, she's going to put one hand underneath her leg, and the second hand is behind the table or chair if you're doing this at home. Twist for me as far as you can, Roz. That's great. So she's going to apply some strength here. She's trying to twist around as far as she can. Holding that there for 10 seconds. And then returning back to the centre. Round to come. Now Roz is going to give a big breath in. And relax. Great. That's number one. We have three in this sequence. So the second time now, Roz, come back round again. This time she's going to add her neck to twist as far as she can and apply an overstretch. Great job. Excellent. And back round to come again for me. From this position, another cleansing breath. And breathing out. Great. All right, the third and most important part here is we start using some eye movement. I'm going to explain the benefits of that later. So, round to come, round to come, brings her body around, brings her head around. Now her eyes are going to look as far around as she possibly can and add a little bit more stretch. Can you see where she is now to where she was beforehand? We've got another probably 15 degrees of rotation here. 10 second hold, and then back and come. Could you feel that difference? Oh yes, yeah, it was quite, quite amazing. Yeah. You'll get really good benefits from this. We need strength and rotation to help us with everyday movements, helps us solid our base for our shoulders, and helps us with our diaphragmatic control. In my previous video, I gave you information on how to apply our nerve supply to the thoracic area, to wake those nerves up, to wake those muscles up. Today what we've covered is how to make the muscles longer and how to give you more strength and flexibility. These things you need to do every day. This is part of your homework. What I want you to do is I want you to keep a separate folder and it's your DYI folder. Save all these videos because this is your homework. Remember, like this or leave a comment because I'd love to read what you've got to say. Go down to those links because there's heaps of information on my website and in my newsletter. And don't forget to subscribe. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and stay right. Straighten up and fly right. Cool down, Papa, don't you be so strong? <laughs>